World Golf Championship. Dustin Johnson and John Rahm about ready to do business in the championship match. The players for the championship match from the United States, Dustin Johnson. <laughs> from Spain, John Rom. <laughs> Mr. Johnson has the honor. Play away, please. And this is the championship match, Johnny Miller, that everyone had been anticipating. By far the two most dominant players all week here at Austin Country Club. Roger Maltby will be calling the Dustin Johnson shots today, Raj. Starts down the left side trying to cut it. It's not cutting much. And this is a blind tee shot on number one. 401 is the yardage. Now that one is turning over. And just a low burning tee shot there. Ran about 100 yards. Well, Dustin Johnson has won the opening hole in all six of his matches this week, birding five of those six times. This is going to be tough to get a win out of this one where Rahm has hit it. Hanging back on his right side to get the ball lofted. He's hit it right of the hole, and that's going to leave a long one now up over a couple of ridges. Well, he's putting. I give him that. So big advantage for Rahm. Stays up on that proper level. Dustin Johnson faced with this real tester up the hill right from the get go. You can see the first fourth of it is into the green, then it's down green, then into the green. So you got to hit that last part, it's going to be slow. This now you can see crawling up the hill into the green, and he's done a super Boy, good job. That is a great putt, I think. Yep, you got to factor so many things in in this game. Grabbed it at the end. No doubt it was in the middle of the hole with about two feet to go and it just slid right. So for the first time Dustin Johnson does not win his opening hole but it's a half and they head to the second. Let's play that cut. There, there it is folks. Yeah that's perfect. There's a pot bunker you can just see that ball coming right down at it's about 330 yards off the tee. A great aiming point. Didn't Rom almost hit in the water hazard on two and three this morning? Uh, yes, he did. Very short backswing. Ram straight left arm. Watch that. That's one reason why his backswing is so short with that arm so straight. Mm -hmm. Only perfect. Yep, that should be a beauty. And that'll catch the speed slot and run out. So, a well positioned tee shot by Rom. That's tremendous flight on that Really shot. well done, yep. Gets back there onto that uh, proper level of the green. So Johnson a little farther to the right. So Raj, uh, the ball a little more above his feet. Yes, he's got it above his feet and an uphill lie as well. Uphill side, he'll lie. Same yardage, 163, but it's going to be hard to keep it down out of the wind. He's hit it very, very high, and it's going to come up short to the hole. Sort of a chip shot, Gary. Did you see that? How quick I he think, hit it? Yeah, I think he was uh, a little concerned about the ball possibly flying, and you don't want to go over the green. Yeah, out of the low area of the valley in the middle of the green here, uphill. And we'll go to his right some, I think, when it gets on top. It's almost a concession length. Rob for Birdie to win the hole. Much speed. Ooh, sneaks it that in. Remains all square. Well, uh, he did give Dustin that putt, so uh, hole is halved with pars. Well, that's the shot shape I'd expect. He doesn't hit many draws anymore. And he starts it left, and he's peeling it back. This is beautiful up the left side. Go. Oh. Watch it. Oh, just skirted the carpet. That is so long. 
That's down there in that second shot layup area if he hit it that bunker. That was pretty right. dangerous though, wow. wasn't it? Yeah, that's down there about 360, 370. The hole's playing 424 today, so see if John Rahm can match him, David. And that's a rocket up the right-hand side. Again, really low flight. Yeah, it's got to get lucky. It's going to hit the rough, hit the path. Uh -oh. oh, man, that went into the heavy stuff. You're going to have to see how that lie is. Sam, watch out. Now, there are spots down there. It could be playable, but you have to get awfully lucky. Ball could go left, too. Oh, he made a great contact. That is out to the left of the green. Not bad at all. It's safe. Well, that was a heck of a shot to get it that close to the green now. Hurt his wrist, right wrist a little. Dustin Johnson, Raj, just a flick. Yeah, just 63 yards left to the hole. Safe play left of the hole. Yeah, smart play. Put the pressure back on John Rom. Not a difficult pitch. Bump it over the fringe and let it run down to the hole. Pretty good break to the right, though, isn't it? Yeah, big break to the right. Fairly quick, but that's nicely done. So he has that to escape with a par four. Got by a little further than he wanted. That's first bogey for Rom here all week on number three. So DJ back into a familiar Johnson, position, Johnson, Johnson, leading. He's one up in this match. And the wind's coming across from the left. This is an eight iron. Safe. I mean, I'm almost thinking you almost get the It's a dangerous point. hole location. You don't have much room if you want to hit it short of the hole, that's for sure. He's on the radar of people that follow the game closely, but this will put him on another level, especially with another major coming up. He had a great chance to win in Mexico, right? Yes, he did. He finished third. But he was like right there. Yeah, he had, the, three he had the lead late in that final what? round. It was a little yeah. deep there, but you're right. It's another reason why John Rahm was looking forward to this matchup. It went left, and then and it's traveling. That was very, That's pretty very, glassy down there. That is an understatement. That is like super fast. Be very careful with pace here. Just trickling it down the hill. Move to the right, and then there's a little bit of a move to the left. Just a bit. Yep. Oh, that was not good. They misread that one. That's two holes in a row you misread it. And indeed, it's two winning holes in a row for number one. Two up through four. They're headed to the par four fifth, Gary. Yeah, let's take a look at these two swings. Uh, very similar in height, yeah, but uh, very different in length as far as the back swings are concerned. Dustin Johnson with that full wind up reaches the top of his swing. John Rahm barely passed three quarters, but look at the similarities. Look at the bowed left wrist on both players, Johnny. So yeah. that uh, is a very uh, interesting aspect. Now, as they come back toward the ball, Dustin Johnson has gotten into this thing where he likes to hit a fade. So when he gets back, look how open his hips are and his shoulders are starting to open as well, where Rahm's hips are not open quite as much and his shoulders are certainly square. So John Rahm hitting a fairly straight ball. Dustin Johnson trying to hit the cut. Interesting to watch how open um Dustin's hips are at impact and how square his shoulders are. Hips are way more open than his shoulders, which is really a lot of power doing that. Cut a little. That's not cutting. Little. The wind's holding and it's not letting it cut. 
Yeah, I might be okay though. I got a nice little right hand kick. In the fairway, or just off the fairway, I should say, but right next to the green there. So that was ripped. It kind of curled around there. That's what he's looking at. And uh, boy, anywhere and just short of this green isn't good. Much better to be long where Dustin Johnson is. Going over all the trees. He wants to know is it all right? Is it all right? Is it all right? Yeah. Oh, that's it's a nice okay. little bank to the left. You might have a bit of an angle there too. It was it was enough club that three wood would have done it. And this is a very awkward shot. He's going to have to bump this into the apron in front of him here, hop it up over the slope and let it run out to the hole. Very difficult to judge. Oh wow! <laughs> That's a very good break right there. That ball would have been off the green. That was a great shot. Well, I don't want to say it perfect is <laughs> left of the hole because it isn't. <laughs> oh, how good is this? Just outside the concession range. Uh oh. That is three lost holes in a row. And we will watch this tee shot using our 3D follow. Starts it down the left side. Looks like absolutely perfect. If it gets a little hot well, right, it yeah. should. <laughs> well, it's uh, still going. He's had trouble on this hole, has not driven the ball well here, he was commenting on. Although did hit a good one in the morning when he hit it 372 yards down the fairway. And that one gets the bounce, so that is big, and that is in good position. This golf course has gotten firmer and firmer, hasn't it? Well, a lot, a lot of wind roll. we get, yeah, absolutely. That. Uh... In the hole! Well, now it's not going to quite reach that ridge that uh, funnels everything toward the hole, so that's going to leave a very quick putt. And wow, that landed softly. Yeah, he can't believe it didn't hop forward. And this is only eight iron. Oh, only man. 217 yards. He's that got one's it. left. Yeah, that's not good. Looks like it's flying. That's into the gallery, and that is very firm ground over there. That ball may not stop for a while. Run ball. Run ball. Run ball. Oh, that's a oh man, he got a little unlucky there. That was really well played. It comes over a ridge. It's going to go left at the start just a little bit. And then when it gets over that ridge, it's going to start going down and to the right. There's the left part. Now we're going to get the right. And he's done a pretty good job. Thanks, Dave. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that broke left at the hole. Yeah, goes back toward the back edge of the green. Yep. Well done. Nice two putt birdie. It uh, might be a little too much close. Yeah, he's Hit it right. to the right a couple times this hole, and that is well. He turned away like he didn't like it, but overall, it's not too bad if it stops. That huh? is so hard in that area, isn't it? You can hear that. You can hear that bounce. That ball. Yeah, he has a club less than Dustin. This is eight. Softer than we expected, at least. So that one drifting back a little further. Easy. Easy. That yeah. may not stay on the green. Yeah, that's. Uh, it's so hard to judge when you're going up that nose and then down so quickly. Your immediate concern is just get it up. It's all pretty well trodden down here, so it should be pretty smooth. 
Oh, this is nice to judge. Boy, that sneaks by the hole going uphill. Yeah. Oh, how about that? That <laughs> three all the way, Jake. I think that actually counts as a one putt. We've seen him do that all week, clutch putt after clutch putt in that. On the tee at the eighth, just earlier, John Rahm, Dustin Johnson has already played his tee shot out of the fairway, but he's in good shape, and Rahm doesn't like this one. Let's see if he gets a good hop or any ricochet, but it's wow, going well out of the trees. Yes. A little on the right side, I'm sorry. Almost got to the green. I would think he's going to want to keep this a little right of the hole here. That's a baby dog. Deep bunker down left, so he's playing a cut. It's got to get up a little. Okay, good looking shot. It's a tough hole, it's a good shot. Bad, got a little check on it. Super spinner. Just try to get the right pace on it. Got to go. Yeah, it still may be good enough. Yeah, good enough for a concession there, probably. If he doesn't make this, he'll have lost five out of six holes and be five down. And so he is indeed five down. Wind coming across from the right here, John, so that's kind of hold up a cut a little bit. I think he can carry all the bunkers on the right even with this club. Just got to let it make it bite just a little. Just wanted to make it make that right turn a little oh. earlier, but it's not right, done yet. It's not done yet. It's going to head down that light rough. Keep it to the right with it. The shot. And taking the right turn, get down the slope. That's going to go way down there. And that is past his 352. You take it down that left side there, you get a little close to that hazard, but 369, and John Rahm has passed himself from this morning. On 154. Good news is he's probably the most flexible guy I can think of, which would help from this kind of lie, but forced to play out to the right. See? Yeah. yeah. He couldn't take on the flag stick from that angle. And kind of what we were talking about with Jimmy's piece, Texas golf out here in the hill country. Well, I might be birdie here. Just a sand wedge, 99 yards. Time to hit a tight one here. Well, not the best shot. He's ever hit, that's for sure. Once he's on the green, I think it's going to work to the right toward the back right part of the green. Then when it gets near the hole, might go back just a little left. That was pretty predictable because he knew he couldn't go long and took a little too small of a swing. He's lost five out of six. Just wants to cozy that up, and that'll be a conceded par for him, and that'll force Dustin Johnson to make the par putt to keep his five up lead. So we've got the first winning hole for Rom. Pretty shot there. Nice low hard draw. Moves a little right to left. That should be positioned perfectly. So he carries it about 275. His yardage in Mexico City, but it was 300. <laughs> yeah. but that was at altitude, too. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> it's still right. 300 with an iron. Uh, I got you. A little different ball flight there, a little left to right. And that one uh, 
also in back left hole location. Cannot afford to go long. A little left. Oh, I'm oh. a little short. You can tell by the sound, Gary, he didn't get all of it. A little of that clanky yeah, sound. Just not a flush sound. DJ hasn't played 10, 11, 12 very well this week. Plus two, the rest of the course, 27 under. 149 here for Johnson. This is turning right to left, and it's going to be short of the hole as well. Moves a little forward. Way to go, Justin! Johnson safely aboard. John Rahm left of the green here at the 10th. Very bare lies. The ball way back in his stance. Got to drive it low. Oh, he's done it well. He's been brilliant around the greens, John. He's got it up and down 22 of 26 times this week. In the hole. Wow. Whoa. 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 What happened there? Yeah, this one actually has a pretty good amount of break to it. Easy to miss it low. Oh. Two in a run out. And another short miss at the 10th for Dustin Johnson. That's three matches in a row. Now over 20 as Rom struck it. A pretty good line. Boy, that's a big nine. Yeah, and these balls are really hitting firm now, Jimmy. Yeah, it is like a major championship. Wind's freshening. It's a good sound, but he's dropping his club on his shoulder. And it's well left of the hole. Man, that thing's like concrete down there. Might come down. No, just perches up on the edge. If Rom can win this hole somehow, this thing gets a lot more interesting. In the hole. In the hole. Well, he was not playing it out to the left, I can tell you that, folks. He was aiming just barely outside the left. So he misread it by three and a half feet. Wait a minute now. Making it tough on himself, Roger. All right. Ooh, he got a lot of a hole. Helping in from the right, maybe a little bit. Yeah, you, know, you see the blue arrow folks on the left above the, you see the miles per hour. And a hole like this demands our 3D animation to the right. He looks happy with this one. I know. This will be at least uh, 375, folks. Cross the cart path. Uh, try maybe even and closing in on 400 yards. That was wallet. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how far that goes. Before you go across that road and get reach fairway again. If it wasn't for luck, these guys have really hit it a long way. He teed that ball really low on that one, which helps you squeeze a fade, but is it going to be okay? I and think so. Further right. Oh, oh, it takes it over. <laughs> and here we go with a little run out. Yeah, those were great tee shots. That's very entertaining. It's down there where there aren't any divots. Driver wedge, 584 yard hole. Again, downhill, downwind, and all of that, but still. And it didn't look like much of a wedge. This on a pretty good line. Just didn't get up that ridge. Good shot, though. It was right at it. It was just a little short. It had to look good in the air. And he's hitting a gap wedge. It's usually about 50 degrees. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Got the blade open, way open, and just trickling down. Yeah, I think just hit and stuck. That's looking pretty darn good just for a cozy up. But it's going to force Rom to make his. And so now Rom for birdie to have the hole, David. He's got to have it. It's not a good putt at all. I don't know why he's complaining. He just pushed it to right edge. 
to, uh, to take this green on. Certainly playing into the wind, there is no reason to do that. It's kind of frightening to think that no, Dustin no, Johnson no. might be playing to the strength of his short clubs. I'm telling you, that's why he is number one in the world and just dominating this week. Well, you can see what he's got left. The excitement continues because with the wind back in the player's face, anything spinning back could go right into the water. Now, here we go. John Rahm now four down with the big stick. Could be do or die. That's 293 yards into the breeze. Well, he got most of this one, though. Spin, you got to throw it out to the right a little. That's the way I see it, John. If you get a little knock down, turn over right to left, get it to spin that way, which he didn't, it's going to stay up above. It's not going to get all the way across the ridge and down by the hole. Yeah, that's how you play it if you're just trying to make four. This is good. Well judged, just below the hole. Roger, downhill, slick. All the David described, it's going to go a little to the right as well. With authority, so John Rahm with an aggressive play off the tee. Drives the green, two putts for a birdie. Of all the boaters. It's like he likes that one. Yeah, well, let's see, that's a perfect shot right there. Just perfect. So he's on a bit of a roll here with the three wins. Yeah, that 45 yard fairway, uh, but he still needs to hit a good uh, shot just inside the bunker line and a little baby cut. Okay, this should be fine. That's a smart shot. It gets a ground hook. Pretty good feeling, Johnny, for a guy that can take the left side of the golf course uh, out of play. And yeah. Just know I, that you're going to be okay. I had to play against a blonde guy named Jack. That he He's got 168 and a seven iron out. John, you're right. This hole sets up beautifully for his left to right fade. And this is just left of the hole. Very nice looking shot. Fairway and greens from here on out, Johnny. Should get the job done, no yeah. problem. Uh, I'd be really surprised if anybody birdies this hole. Forced the issue again. Yeah, 159 yards. He also has seven iron. Back up into the breeze. I wonder if that's a little too much club for him. Doesn't like it. Sit. No, he tugged it. Sit. No. Sit. It hit softly, though. I'll give it that much. Could have taken a big hop, and it's down in the primary rough, but sitting up. Pretty straightforward chip shot on any given Sunday except this one. Had a tracking. Boy, it was going. Pretty darn good just left. I think this goes a little to the left, too. First part of the putt is coming up the backside of a ridge that runs through this part of the green, so it'll force a little left. Yep, there's your friend. From left to right. That's an excellent shot. Wind's favoring the shot he likes to play. The whole dog leg's right. He can just have at it here. Boy, that was a long backswing. Really flexible, long backswing. And a long drive. It's like taking a rubber band and just pulling it back another three inches. That's what he did there. Just such a wind-up on the backswing. And got some check on it. He's going to do it right now. I can't wait for another hole. There it is. There it is. That's what he needed. 
Because it's possible that Dustin Johnson could close him out with a win on this 15th hole. Yeah, he, needs to know, he knows he just got to knock it close. That one, Dustin. He's trying to take it at the left side, let that hill kill a little bit. Needs to make this. Yeah, that's not going to break. It's pretty straight putt. So that's, that's, right. that's given Rahm an opportunity here to cut into the lead. Okay, so this for the fourth winning hole for John Rahm and a cut into the lead. Make it just two down with three to play. All right, so he keeps hanging in there. Yeah, he's pretty that hole three out of four times. And we'll watch John Rahm's drive using our 3D animation. Oh, that's way right. That is 100 yards right. Yeah. It's, uh, up, it's in the clear, but, you know, not, uh, he'll have a swing, but I'm not sure where he's going to go with it. So way up on the hill, is that what you're saying? Big opening here for Johnson. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, that's going right. That might get her bounce off the hill. That though. could maybe be in that area where you get a bounce off. Well, here it comes. It's going to trickle down and just miss the fairway, but uh, he will not be able to reach the green in two from there. All right, Dustin away, so he'll play. It's the two iron just to lay up. That's perfect. Just hit a low strafer right up the middle, right in front of the green, about 50 yards, 45 yards or so. Fine. Oh, he got a nice clean contact. That's a great shot from there. Wow. <laughs> was that one? Did he weave I, I that through it, the trees? I think it went right of where he was trying to go. <laughs> John Ron with his third. So 90 yards. We made a hard swing there, gust John. Gust of wind right on the swing. Yeah, gust of wind. That's going to have a lot of spin on it. Never, as hard as he swung at that. Never got off his right heel either. Yeah, a little Going bit of an it. uphill lie. This is the area of his game he's worked so hard on. He needs to get down a little. Well, it's okay, but certainly not his best. Yep, it just got real. No question about that. He has to get this to the hole and get it online. Well, it's got a chance. Whoa, John Rahm. Look out. Third birdie in his last four holes. Oh. Now, kind of wander our way to the right. So the lead is now just one. Kind of shot up in the air. Oh. oh, oh my. That's not the spot. And that is really thin down there, and that ball looks like it's settled down between a couple of clumps of grass. He had his chances on the last hole and hit a poor tee shot after Rom hit it in trouble. And they had a great chance on the third shot and hit a poor little wedge shot, so he needs to regroup. It's on a good line. Might need to get down a little. Yeah. It carried just past the hole and stopped dead. So we saw that putt already this morning. Bill Oss and Tanahara had those same putts down that hill, Dan. Wow. That is fantastic. He's had incredible scrambling statistics. Number one in the field this week. This putt now for Birdie to win the match and the championship. Oh. 
So a little work left here. Wow. It did turn left, but it snuck in the side. Um, trouble, trees right, trees left, bunkers. Hey, good. Beauty. Oh, he loves it. Get the right balance. On the freaking beauty. And that, folks, is the green. It's just 356. Well, he did it. It's a heck of a shot. <laughs> it's a heck of a shot. He drained it, literally. Perfectly for his cut on Roger. So, I mean, he could, could have gone for it, but. Yeah, that doesn't lessen the number of really rotten places a ball can end up here if you hit driver. So yeah, that's true. Uh, it doesn't take him out of the hole. By the way, it's the first time Rom has played 18 all week, and he just ripped it down there. And this starts up the left, cutting. This should be just fine. That's a good thing. Yeah, just almost to the top of the hill, right where you want it. Leaves himself just a wedge, I would imagine. Needs to be now, 116 hole cut front, but he does have a slope behind the hole and to the left that he can use. Downhill, downwind. That wasn't down. caught south. That was not a solid strike. Kind of what we've seen a lot of today, Johnny, when it really had become a hallmark of his game. Yeah, he's been off with his wedges. Did the same thing this morning on 18, came up short with a wedge, didn't flush it. So this is just his second shot. Dustin Johnson lies two, one up. All he needs to do is have the hole, and he wins the championship. Oh, no. Oh, it can't stop there. Oh, my word. That is, look at the ashen look on his face like, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, just outside the right. To say the least. Is it possible he could make this crazy putt? Is it possible? Oh, it's a good effort. And now it's looking really good for Dustin. All he needs is two from where he is. That was a pretty level from a speed perspective. He's putting uphill slightly from his position to get the ball on the green, but then it's going to break to his right. Wow. This one just over six feet for Rom for par. David, what's this? Uh, maybe inside right, right edge or something? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. There's not much in it. That one, Phil. Okay. And even if Dustin Johnson drains this for the championship win, you've got to take your hat off to John Rahm and what he did to battle back from five down. So just a short par putt away, less than three feet. Three wins in a row for Dustin Johnson. Two straight World Golf Championships. And as John Rahm took him to the 18th, when it didn't look like it had a chance of getting there. In 2004, to win his first two PGA Tour starts as the number one player in the official World Golf Ranking. So there was a lot who believe, a lot of people believe that this was going to be kind of a carousel. If you want to watch another European Tour video, click here. If you want to subscribe, click up here.